well, it is it's longer than six days. It is now eight days. And I'm doing good. Being outside, social, well, not really being social, but being in the social scene. Um, definitely much more manageable. Uh, not so many nervous ticks or um, anxiety level is 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 dealable and uh, yeah, work. Um, at work, we've still got a uh, overstaffing problem. I was still forced into a managerial position. Um, just because the other managers decided not to be there and like I mentioned that's, that's not my job and it was uh, I stepped down from that position and um, I'm not paid for that role so uh, I really I don't think it's fair to ask that of me to, to, to do that especially with my current mental state and especially because we're not in a crisis <laughs> I mean there's always a crisis uh, but we're not in like a emergency crisis so I kept myself busy and cleaned the workshop and did as much as I could uh, until my managers got there and then sat down and spoke with the project manager and made sure that uh, he of what he actually wanted, of whether he preferred it that workers come and work um, during this time period or use up their overtime. Uh, he said he preferred if people used up their overtime. Uh, so then I spoke with my manager and was like, yeah, look, explain the situation. This, this is, uh, uh, there's no real need for me to be there. The busy season's gonna come again and then I'll be doing, you know, 10 hour days again and building up overtime again. So let me just use my overtime and uh, yeah, he fully agreed, so that's fine. Um, so I'm on holidays now, which is good because I, I, it's not healthy, but I need to keep busy. And if I'm at work doing jobs that other people can do who are standing around doing nothing, that's, uh, that's uh, not productive for me. Uh, so coming home and concentrating on my study and concentrating on getting myself mentally um, in order is way more productive for me. Um, so that's what's happening. Um, I'm going to leave the city, uh, head down to the south of Germany and chill out. Literally, it's a lot colder down there. Check out the snow. Look, definitely adding structure to the to the day really really helps. Another benefit is that I recognized I when being in a depressive state of when being in a in a in a tunnel basically you have to be able to see some light at the end of the tunnel. Um, and I couldn't see any light, um, so I made a plan. Um, for leaving Germany and heading back to Australia, um, just pluck some dates out of the out of the air, um, and uh, that means that then you have an endpoint, and then you can start working backwards from there. And that created for me a light at the end of the tunnel of, okay, which gives you. A goal which gives you perspective and then hope gets in there and uh, I had therapy today we have decided to continue therapy until May and then we're gonna see uh, how I do without therapy um, because yeah, I'm not sure what the situation will be in Australia and I need to be able to make sure that I can monitor myself. Um, last thing, myself or 
Australia or my family needs is a unstable schizophrenic. <laughs> no one needs that. So, yeah, still feeling realistically positive. And when I go back to work, I'll be riding my bike again, hopefully uh, to and from work, which means I'm not spending an hour on public transport uh, dealing with crazy anxiety. I'm expelling energy and getting myself into work mode. And then also on my way home, I'm expelling energy and leaving all the work behind. Uh, I think there is, is something said and, you know, more activity, more health, more fitness uh, is never a bad thing. I know I keep mentioning it, that I should make videos of this and that, and really I got, I got a lot of, got a lot in here and I got a lot on my phone uh, of what I need to, what I, what I would like to, 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 to talk about. But, you know, this is uh, one of the things of uh, being uh, mentally ill. You have to deal with what comes up. Um, yes, it's nice to have plans and yes, it's nice to have thoughts and ideas. But if you are not willing to put everything on hold to deal with what's coming up, then that's when you need to be on medication. And I just, I am willing to put everything on hold to try and stay off medication. Um, you know, if I really have to, I, I will, I will, you know, but un until that point, I will do everything in my power not to be. And life goes on. Life goes on. And if you're wondering why I'm subdued, <laughs> it's because uh, everything has balancing point. So if I allow myself to get really excited and things don't work out, I will also potentially become incredibly depressed. You know, so. Instead of doing this with the balancing point, I prefer to stay around here. Um, I really never thought I would say that. Um, I really loved living up here. Um, and then I dealt with down there. Uh, through denial and dependency and I want something more. Maybe that's just my always wanting more, but uh, this feels different. This feels like I want more substance. I want more real. It's over. Aww.